Scott here from arcadesystems.co.uk Okay, so I get a lot of people struggling to boot Batasera, especially on some of these older workstations. Um, some people even struggle, you know, people say disable secure boot. So secure boot, for example, that has to be disabled for this to work. Now, on the later version of Batasera, you can actually have that enabled, but still, I would have this disabled. If you're on version 38 or below, disable secure boot. Um, there's also a TPM, TPM 2.0 security. This must also be disabled, especially on these like Dell workstations. Now, the boot sequence, this should be set to UEFI. However, you may get where it's trying to boot, you know, it comes up back to Sierra, but it doesn't go past that boot screen. What you have to do is you have to add a boot option. You can call this whatever. And then go to the file name. Select EFI boot. And then you will want the boot X64. Or it may just be called boot 64. Again, it's slightly different wording sometimes on the earlier version of Batasera. Okay. Apply. And there you go. So this is obviously version 30 actual workstation. So version 39 does fix a few issues in terms of how it boots. Um, but this is now, as you can see, it's boot, booting up perfectly fine. 